I want to go back to your kind of upbringing in France. You, you mentioned your dad and your older sister kind of in regards to teaching the game, talking about the game. Was basketball the only sport that you loved growing up or were there other sports? And, and then what made basketball your path? Um, I was definitely trying to play soccer. Um, I obviously started with basketball because my whole family played. Um, my dad and my sister at least. And I had I was playing both at some point and uh, I just had to uh, you know at some point make a decision it was either soccer or basketball and uh, I'm not gonna lie to you my family kind of like you know tossed me into basketball but uh, I, I don't regret it now but uh, obviously I still you know love soccer um, that's something I you know I love playing and I love watching but uh, yeah it was it was between those two. Growing up over there you know obviously the NBA is a big deal college basketball has become a, a bigger deal uh, as more European players have had success. Did you find yourself growing up watching more NBA or college? And at what point did you realize you wanted to come play college basketball in the States? So I started watching NBA because the player that I knew, you know, Tony Parker, Boris Dia, were in the NBA. Um, you know, I think around maybe nine, 10 years old, I actually like, sat down and started watching games and not only just allies on TV, you know. And uh, I started watching college maybe when I was 15. Um, to me, it was just about, I know that there is people playing college basketball. So let's, out of curiosity, let's just start watching, you know. I know that all those guys that I see playing in the NBA come from somewhere. So um, let me see where they come from and how they play the game and the uh, you know, after a year or two, I was really like, I kind of fell in love in college basketball. I was like, you know, there is a reason all those guys, you know, are so good at some point in the NBA. Like I said, they come from somewhere. So um, uh, let's keep on watching. And then I really started like believing that, that it was the best option for me uh, coming here and play basketball. Was Gonzaga an easy option for you when Tommy Lloyd started recruiting you? I know Gonzaga and Tommy have had great experience uh, with, European guys and also, you know, some French guys, Killian Tilly, Roni Turioff, who was a teammate of mine. He was actually a freshman my senior year. Um, you know, it, did that make it easier for you knowing that they all had great success here at Gonzaga? Um, yeah, for sure. And I mean, Killian was, Killian and I were in the same academy and the year before he left for Gonzaga. So um, that was definitely, you know, kind of a, a safety blanket. And uh, when Gonzaga reached out for me, it was like, basically, I have the opportunity to play the more European type of basketball in the U.S. And it works in the U.S. So, you know, like I said, in my, in my, in my mind, it was like, a, it sounds like the perfect option. And then I visited here and I was like, whoa, like, are you kidding me? Like, I feel like everybody loves each other. I feel like the community is like crazy. And I was 17, so I didn't want to go you know, somewhere where I would have to be, you know, alone in my corner or just thinking about a coach, you know, coach change, which, you know, we know that uh, Coach Hughes has been doing such a good job. You know, he, you know, there's a really little amount of chance he, he just leaves Gonzaga. So that was that was really important to me. And uh, that made Gonzaga yeah, a clear number one option. You know, when I look back at the start of your career and seeing you at practice that redshirt year, there were, there were things that obviously I, I thought that if you – became a little better in these areas, you were going to have a chance to be uh, an impactful player. And you've obviously done that and maybe more, to be honest, because, I mean, you're such a, an integral part of a number one ranked team. But when I looked at you your freshman year and I was told your age, I couldn't believe that you made that decision. Because when I was that age, there is no way I could have moved halfway across the, the globe uh, to do something that I loved, like basketball, like you did. How hard was that and how hard was the adjustment? Um, I say, I mean, it was hard, but also not hard. Um, in some way, it was hard because obviously I was young and I took a huge jump. And, you know, I had a bunch of like reassurance, but I still wasn't sure about everything. I was still, you know, going in in something in somewhere that I didn't really know of. And, uh, you know, leaving my parents, leaving my, my country, it was, it was kind of hard. And, you know, hitting that wall right away, too, like the wall of you can't play because you're just not ready to play. Um, like, even though I know that I would, there was a good chance I was going to redshirt, you're still, you know, as a basketball player, you, you 
play great down there. You know, why would I hit that big of a wall? I hit it and it was the, it was really difficult. But in the same time, I saw it as like, like I said, I started watching college basketball, you know, and I was like, this is this is the real deal. You know, this is uh, this is not hiding in Europe. This is just going against the best. And I'm like, if I want to play in the NBA later, I will have to be a good NCAA player. There is no way I can just not be a good NCAA. So for me, it was just, okay, you know, instead of maybe hitting the wall in the NBA because I went through, you know, Europe and nobody really know what I can do, um, I'll, I'll go there, I'll hit that wall early. And if I, you know, if I can, you know, climb it, I guess it gives me a better chance at going there. It does not even mean that I can play. So that's a crazy thing. So it's like, for me, it was just, you know, the next step. And uh, it made sense for me. And uh, even if, you know, it was kind of, it was seen as the harder way. For me, it was just seen as the right way.